Hello everyone, this is Saeed Akhtar Khan. Today I will show you another platform through which you can download free satellite imagery, particularly Landsat program. So this platform is called USGSS, USGS, a Rose Science Processing Architecture on Demand Interface. And it can be accessed through this website, this web page. So once you are on this web page, you need to log in in order to access and download data from this platform. So you have to use your USGS credential. I have already explained it in my previous uh, video on using USGS Earth Explorer. So use basically the same logins detail. Okay, so now once I am inside the platform, so I can also look at what kind of products are being provided. So if you click on this link, you would see there are two labels of data. So first is label two product. Label one is basically the input data, which you can download from the Earth Explorer, also you can download it from this platform. So basically you can download three levels of data. Level one, which is the input. Mostly these are the bands, individual bands of each image. Okay, for each scene. And then you have level two, which is advanced data. And it's really good to have this data available so that you can perform uh, advanced analysis such as time series okay so otherwise you have to process this data to get it to level two but now Landsat has provided uh, has started providing it uh, free of cost so you can get surface reflectance uh, product okay you could see the description here it's the data which is basically used gathered from using solar radiation which is reflected from Earth's surface okay and then we have something advanced uh, pro provisional aquatic reflectance and this is for the Landsat 8 we also have spectral dry uh, spectral indices and these are surface reflectance derived products so you could get such as NDVI or you can have yeah yeah, some other indices related to moisture and water. So that's very useful. And then you can also get surface uh, temperature. Yeah. And then the another level is level three. This is only available for United States, but this is really advanced it and very useful. So you can get some, they call it uh, Landsat analysis ready data. So this is very advanced. For example, you can get dynamic surface water extent. You can get the fractional snow covered area and bond area. So these products we can access. This. So I will now show you how to basically download from the platform. So once you are here, you need to go into the new order. Before I go there, you can also access user guide, which I have already downloaded here. So the user guide explains each and everything all those levels of data, what are those inputs data, and you can. You, you not only access Landsat, but you also access MODIS and VIRS data. So you have basically three satellite programs over there. So once you are inside, so you need to go to the new order in order to yeah place your order over there. So over here, you see you need to choose first uh, a scene list so basically this has to be a text file okay and it should have landsats or modis or virs product id so how we can get that information so if you look at my video from yesterday so you need to get this information from earth explorer okay so you need to select an area or if you have already 
save the criteria you need to click on this okay and then in the data set you need to select for example here I have already selected land set 1 to 5 4 to 5 7 and 8 so you need to select this plus if you want some additional like if you're interested in cloud cover how much cloud cover you want for land or for scene okay so you can choose those and then you move to the results okay so here we have for instance at the moment we have 100 results but I think if we if we if we just increase the number from 100 to let's say maximum or maybe 1000 so let's say yeah so now uh, we got 148 images for all Landsat sensors for this particular area so if we want to look at one specific image so you see this is how the yeah image is overlaid over there so then what you need to do is you need to click here to export your results okay so from there in the format you say like all results if you want all or you just need this page like the current one let's say you want non-limited all of 148 then you choose CSV over there okay so you get an Excel sheet from this then you click on export so it says the file is being generated upon completion you receive an email the email you have registered okay so once uh, you will receive a link with your email okay which will allow you to download a zip file which will have a csv file in it okay and in the csv file this will actually take some time so i won't wait for it in this okay we got it here so you will get a link so you click on this link and then you download export file Okay, so you have downloaded it. So what you do is you open this and within this you have a CSV file. And if you look, there is a lot of data over there, but this is all the information about each image. But what we are interested in is Landsat product ID or identifier. Okay, otherwise there are some other aspects which I will explain at some later stage but you need this information so let's say if you want these five okay so these first fives so what we do is you need to copy and you need to paste into a text file so I already have made us text file okay so here you see I have these five images listed okay if you want 148 you will just copy and paste over here okay and once you have this you save this file and you know where it is and now you go back so we close this so now you go back and you choose this file so let's say we want to go into YouTube channel okay and you have this order scene selected so now you have order.txt so we have got this text file so now we have to decide what kind of data we want okay so do you want input products these are the bands for each of the images if you want those bands let's say you want to calculate yourself like different uh, spectral indices or you want to do land cover mapping or something else whatever you want if you want input products you will click on it if you want some metadata this is also very useful to look at about each image you will get a file an additional file which will tell you about the cloud cover when the image was taken when was it processed and available and some other very useful information so you can also click on this if you want now this is what i was talking earlier level two product this is important at the moment it's only available for landsat only 
so this this is basically provided with additional additional processing and it's only limited to landsat but other two satellite modis and virs you can get the bands from here also okay so what you do is if you want surface reflectance product okay you can click on it if you want aquatic reflectance you want top of atmospheric reflectance brightness temperature pixel qa this is also very useful sometime let's say for masking clouds it also comes with the input products but this is also important if you want to mask out clouds shadows snow or some other features and then this one spectral indices so sometime if you want to look at vegetation so you go for ndvi and also vegetation dense vegetation you go with evi more with where there is less vegetation sparse vegetation and more soil barren land then you go with savi m savi and similarly ndmi okay this is about moisture and this is about uh, burn and then for modis and virus you get the you know these special spectral indices and this is only ndvi is provided but this is the mostly used one okay and now the important is well, how do you want to get the outputs in which format so mostly i go for geotiff but if you want some other you can select if you want to reproject to some other projection you can select and specify yours one if you want pixels to be resized to be changed so you can go for that and if you want some other output product statistics you can go and you can if yeah you can also explain your order or something but mostly once you have selected let's say we want ndvie and we want surface reflectance and maybe inputs yeah so now you need to submit it so once the order is submitted so it says order successfully submitted and you will also receive an email yeah which will tell you like this is kind of status so if you come back and you look at show orders so in the orders you will have the order id which is this and i have five products order and the current status and if you click on this you could see individual status for each of this image okay so as soon as these images are processed and some of these are available so you can just download it here okay it will become yeah available for download you just need to click and download it and then there is another option which is called yeah which is called ESPA bulk downloader and it has to be run in Python which I will show you later if somebody is interested so that's it for today thank you watch for watching this video if you like it please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you